pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. The eyes, the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. And he hears, and his ears, and his ears are open to their cry. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. And his ears are upon their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out. And the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. The Lord is near. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted. And saves and saves such as a contrite spirit and saves such a contrite spirit many many are the afflictions of the righteous many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord the Lord delivers him out of them he guards all his bones not one of them is broken shall stay evil shall slay the wicked evil shall slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned the lord redeems his soul and his servants and none of those who and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned the lord redeems the Lord redeems the soul of his servants. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants. And none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. It says none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Shall be condemned. And I just want to pray. I just want to pray over you right now, <clears throat> right now, right now. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I just come before your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity that you've given me to minister your word onto your people through this platform. Lord, I declare that as I lead this prayer, they will not see me but that they will see you that I will decrease so that you can be increased in this hour that whatever I speak is directed by the Holy Spirit Lord put a burning coal over my lips so that every word is directed by you I present to you every person right now that is watching this video every person that is listening to this video and I ask you Lord that you send your angels to encamp around their surroundings right now that you send your angels to encamp and to be with them right now Holy Spirit I declare that you are entering into their rooms into their cars into their workspace wherever it may be that they're listening to this video and Holy Spirit I declare that you will begin to minister to every heart every contrite spirit every broken heart in this hour and I declare that supernatural healing is falling upon your people that is falling upon your people Lord I ask you right now in this hour for every person that is feeling alone every person that is feeling alone and isolated it doesn't matter if they have a hundred people around them they still feel alone Lord I ask you that you comfort them in this hour that you be with them that you cover them that you protect them Lord I present to you every voice that is not like you in this hour every voice every negative word that the enemy is trying to speak your people telling them that they're not good enough telling them that they're not called that they should just throw in the towel that they're never gonna get out of that pit 
silenced. I declare that it is silent right now. And I declare that your voice will rise up and speak words of truth. Lord, that you remind your people that their truth is not your truth, that they are loved, that they are cared for, that they are loved. God, so many people that are not feeling loved in this hour that they feel so isolated. They feel like they're the black sheep. They feel overlooked, God. Every person, I just feel it so strongly in my spirit. Every person that feels overlooked in this hour, God, that it doesn't matter what they do. God, I ask you that you comfort them, that you remind them that their acceptance comes from you, that their acceptance comes from you, that you find them valuable, that you find them valuable. Lord, that we will learn in this season to always bless your name at all times, that we should continue to praise you no matter the circumstances, no matter the storms and the trials and the tribulations. <clears throat> Lord, that we can put our confidence in you. Lord, I ask you, God, that if there's anything that is not pleasing onto your sight in this hour that you begin to remove, that you begin to remove, God, if there's pride, begin to remove it. If there's pride, begin to remove it. God, if there's envy in any of our hearts, remove it. God, if there's hate, remove it. If there's guilt, remove it. If there's shame, remove it. God, if there's self, selfishness, selfishness, God, remove it, remove it, remove it, God, remove it. God, that we can remember that the glory is always yours. The glory is always yours. God, that we are just vessels, that we are just vessels here doing your will. God, I ask you, Lord, that just like Esther, that you will give us boldness in this season, that you will give us courage in this season, God, that it doesn't matter what the enemy tries to throw our way, God, that we will rise up to the occasion and be exactly who you have called us to be, God, that we will not be afraid, that we will not be afraid to speak words of truth, that we will not be afraid to speak your word, that we will not be afraid that we will not be afraid, God. That we will not be afraid in this season, God. With everything that's going on. With everything that we're hearing, God. That we will not be afraid. But that we will rejoice. That our King. That our King is coming soon. That we will rejoice. That Jesus, the Messiah, is coming back for his people. God, that you remind your people that this is not our home. That this is not our home. That this is not our home that you have called us for more, that this is not where we're going to spend eternity at, that we can rejoice knowing that one day, that one day we will be with our King and our Savior, Jesus Christ, that one day we will be with the Lord of Lords and King of Kings, that one day we will be reunited with our Lord and Savior, that we will be in the holies of holies, that we will be in heaven praises onto the name of Jesus. Lord, that we can rejoice in our salvation. That we can rejoice in our salvation. Lord, we recognize that we fall short of your glory every single day. But God, I just declare, I declare that your people will rise up. That your people will rise up. And we will, and we will still, we will still strive to live righteous, that we will try to, to strive to live holy, God, that we want to be like you, we want to act like you, God, submerge us in your word, give us hunger, give us hunger in this season, God, to dig into your word, there are so many people out there in this world that are being persecuted for their faith in you, people that are not allowed to have a Bible, people that are not allowed to proclaim that they're Christians, because if not, they will be killed and tortured. God, I declare that your saints will rise up in this season to be hungry for you, to take advantage and to read your word, 
to study your word. God, that we want to know the mysteries of you. We want to know who you are. We want to know your nature, that you are a kind, loving God, that you are a God, that his mercies are never ending. God, we rejoice knowing that you are our Savior. We rejoice knowing that you love us. God, I declare that sin and guilt and shame will not hold us back, that our past will not hold us back from being who you've called us to be. I declare that past trauma, that past trauma will not stop us and hold us back from being who you called us to be. We are loving, we are caring, we are meek, we are humble, we are Christ-like. Your word says that he that is in Christ is a new creation and I declare that the old things are gone that the old things are gone we will no longer think like how we used to think that we will no longer act like how we used to act but God we want to be like you we want to be like you Jesus in this hour God make us like you mold us even when it hurts mold us mold us God and begin to pick out begin to pick out everything that's not pleasing onto your sight. God, I ask you in this hour that you purify our hearts. You purify our hearts, Lord. Our hearts, Lord. You purify us that you burn us, Father God. You burn us, Lord, that you anoint us. You anoint us from the top of our heads to the soles, to the soles of our feet. Lord, we are your chosen generation. We will live, we will live with boldness, we will live with courage, we will not be ashamed of the gospel. We will take every opportunity that you give us to minister your word, to, to study your word. God, it is a privilege, it is a privilege, it is a privilege, God. God, and I just pray over every person that is having trouble sleeping, whether that they're dealing with PTSD, insomnia, depression, anxiety, whatever it may be. God, I ask you for those people that cannot sleep at night. Lord, I declare that you send your peace that surpasses all understanding, peace that only comes from you. God, I declare that you silence everything that's not like you, Lord, that you remove everything that's not like you. God, I ask you in this hour for people to be able to sleep at night, to have a good night's rest, to have a good night's rest, Lord, that they can go into that deep sleep. Lord, give them visions, give them dreams. Lord, give them, give them, give them insight of you, Father God, in this season. Lord, I ask you, Father God, that you will arise the warriors, that you will arise the warriors in this season, Father God to fight on their knees. God, and that in those times where we wake up at two o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning, I ask you, Lord, I ask you, I ask you, Lord, I ask you that at two, three, four o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the morning, that whenever you wake us up, Lord, that we will shake off the tiredness, that we will shake off the tiredness and that we will go onto our knees to seek face to intercede for our brothers and sisters to intercede for this world to intercede for our country to intercede for the united states to pray for the government officials to pray over those in afghanistan and china god to intercede for the christians that are living in afghanistan and china that are being persecuted god that we will intercede for our president regardless of our political views that we will pray for those in government that we will pray for those that are sick that we will pray for what's about to come god prepare us prepare us mentally god lord i thank you for everything that you're doing i present to you every minister and every pastor every person that has a title every child every every person that is covered under your blood i ask you lord for a special anointing a special blessing over their lives lord i declare that we will not throw in the towel we will not give up but we will continue to fight the good battle knowing that we have victory in you knowing that we have victory in you jesus lord thank you Thank you because your word says that when 
we cried, you heard us. That when we cried, you heard us. I thank you, Lord, because it says in your word that you will redeem your servants. That you will redeem your servants. That you will redeem your servants. Lord, I ask you, Father God. I ask you, God, that you cover, that you protect every person watching this video. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.